Welcome to day three of the Rising Baller Ball Mastery Program. I'm not even going to talk, guys. Let's just jump straight into it. To perform the sole rolls, continuously transfer the ball from one foot to the other by using your soles. The soul rolls can be used to initiate skill combinations or even getting you out of tight space situations. Touch the ball once using the outside of your foot and then once with the inside of the same foot. Use the skill to bait the defender by making them think you are going on the outside, to then create an opening on the inside. To perform the Cruyff, use the inside of your foot to hook the ball behind the opposite leg and repeat both sides continuously. The Cruyff turn is an evasive dribbling move to help bring the ball back to your safe side away from the defender. To complete this exercise, step over the ball outwards to land on your foot on the outside of the ball. Alternate feet after each step over.
This skill can be used as a feint to make the defender think you are going one way, but then you can use the outside of your foot to change direction quickly. To perform the riser on your right side, start with your right foot and soul roll the ball twice. As the ball comes back to your foot after the second soul roll, touch the ball with the inside and then the outside of your right foot. Perform the Cruyff with your right foot to bring the ball back, and as the ball comes back across your body, stop the ball with your left sole and do the reverse no touch step over. And this is how you do it with your left side. I am drenched in sweat guys, that was a good workout. Congrats on completing day three. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if you just wanna have a little discussion about the patterns or just anything in general really, I'm, I'm here to chat. See you guys tomorrow.